Mr. Yeah. Murphy, if you yeah. want to for one second, I'm one sorry. Second. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I don't. I don't mean to. Inter I don't mean to interrupt, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, but there's some scene taking place with, with the CBS in Baltimore, and we're going to take a listen to the WBAL uh, uh, helicopter uh, pilot talking about what he's trying to get more information on that. But right now, uh, a lot of activity here at Pennsylvania Avenue and North Avenue, at at. Yeah, they've got several groups out here. That, that's the problem. They've got groups here at Pennsylvania North. They've got groups over there at Glens Falls. They've got groups over there at Monroe Street. Uh, they still have groups over there at Liberty Height uh, near uh, Ocotrali. So it's... Uh, the police are north of that location. They just can't go marching in there because they'll get flanked. And again, you'll have more officers hurt. They're still waiting for reinforcement now. City Police Helicopter Foxtrot is over top monitoring the situation at Pensy and North uh, and relaying information back to uh, the command. But the officers at Pennsylvania North are actually about a half a block north of that intersection where they form a line. They're working their way down. The, the issue is, is that they can't afford to be outflanked. CVS Pharmacy, there's been other businesses that have been attacked, uh, cars that have been attacked. Uh, I know there's been some civilians that have been hurt. I know uh, some officers have been hurt. Uh, so this is just ongoing and it's not stopping. The biggest problem is it's just not central bring down the, uh, sound spot. Of the uh, it's WBAL uh, yeah, helicopter yeah, pilot right now. I want to tell our viewers what they're, what they're looking at. On the left side of the screen, they're seeing the uh, police commissioner of the Baltimore Police Department. Uh, he is with uh, fellow officers as they uh, take to the streets. Uh, there are arrests going on. There has been a great deal of violence against police officers today that we've seen. Uh, it started, it appeared, with uh, high school students. That's what we're told, anyway, from those in the streets of Baltimore reporting for us, Miguel Marquez and Athena Jones. Uh, and uh, the high school students, it appeared, uh, were the ones throwing rocks and bricks and sticks and other objects at police. And then the riot, protest, violent demonstration went on from there with a police car violently attacked. We're told by the spokesperson for the Baltimore police that seven officers are injured, including one who is unresponsive, others with broken bones. We appear to be watching the looting of a CVS on the right side of your screen. It is a day of violence in Baltimore, not the first one in the wake of uh, the, the death of Freddie Gray. Saturday night, Sunday morning also brought some violence to the streets of Baltimore against the wishes of the family of Freddie Gray. Miguel Marquez is in the streets of Baltimore.